From sickle cell anemia to cystic fibrosis, many birth defects are passed from parent to child via genes. To give you a background understanding of the hereditary building blocks of the human body, we need to discuss genes. Every person has some 20,000 to 25,000 genes that determine traits ranging from eye color to hair texture to growth patterns and more. At conception, an embryo is given 46 chromosomes, 23 from the mother and 23 from the father. Chromosomes contain genes. Each gene has a specific place on the chromosome. There are dominant and recessive genes that determine how we look and how our bodies function. Understanding how recessive and dominant genes work is necessary to comprehending how gene-based birth defects occur. There are a number of permutations of gene combinations that a child receives from his or her parents. To simplify, if a child is given two dominant genes, like brown eyes, he will demonstrate this trait. Meanwhile, if a child receives two recessive genes, like blue eyes, he will likely demonstrate that trait. But what if a child receives one dominant and one recessive gene? In this case, he will most likely display the dominant brown-eyed trait because dominant genes tend to trump recessive ones. But if both parents possess a recessive blue-eyed gene, then even two parents with dark brown eyes can give birth to a blue-eyed child. With this in mind, it's easier to comprehend a dominant inheritance and recessive one. A child can inherit a genetic birth defect if just one parent passes along a faulty gene. This type of genetic defect is called dominant inheritance. In a dominant inheritance, the parent passing the dominant trait does have the genetic disorder that has been passed to the child. Examples of dominant inheritance include a type of dwarfism called achondroplasia and a connective tissue disease called Marfan syndrome, where the patient is abnormally tall and thin with cardiovascular, respiratory, and vision problems. Another form of genetic defect occurs when both parents pass the same recessive abnormal gene onto their child. In a recessive inheritance like this, neither parent has to experience the birth defect in order to have passed it on to their child. Cystic fibrosis is a serious lung disorder that affects the digestive tract as well and is a recessively inherited disease. Some genetic birth defects are found in specific ethnic racial groups. For instance, the fatal neurological disorder known as Tay-Sachs disease is of recessive inheritance and is almost exclusively seen in the Eastern European Jewish community. Sickle cell anemia, another recessive disease, causes red blood cells to be sickle-shaped rather than the normal donut-shaped. Thus, this allows them to get lodged in small blood vessels, causing pain crises. It is found primarily in African and Caribbean populations. If you have more questions about genetic birth defects, check out other videos in this series, and, of course, consult with your child's pediatrician.